ready? Hey guys, how you doing? For those of you that are new here, I'm Shelby. If you're not, here I am. I am off to Walmart. So I'm on my way to Walmart today, guys, to do a pickup. I have a few crock pot meals because it is gonna be hot. And I do not like cooking with my stove, well, my oven, when it's hot out, because it makes my kitchen 10,000 degrees. Yes, we do have air conditioning. <laughs> but it still makes the kitchen um, unbearably hot when it's unbearably hot outside. Um, so I did want to come on here and talk to you guys a little bit while we were on our way to Walmart. So if you did not see the video, my letter to my brother in heaven. Um, I did not turn the comments off on that. I believe YouTube turned the comments off on that. Um, as soon as I posted it, I noticed that the comments were turned off and I tried to go back and see what exactly happened i'm assuming it's because it's a sensitive subject and the hashtag maybe the hashtags that i used i'm not sure uh, that's the only thing i could think of but uh that is why the comments are turned off on that i did not turn them off if you don't follow me on instagram i posted when i posted the link i also posted it on my facebook saying like i was not posting that to youtube for like anyone else really i was posting it for myself um i thought about keeping it private but I do know that I have a friend on here who is going through um, dealing with a tremendous loss in her life. And I thought it would be appropriate to share it just, just to keep it real, keep it raw, like I try to. Um, like, because it's not easy. It's not, it's not easy. I, it's not easy to go through big losses in your life. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, every loss in your life is is upsetting and it's sad. And I've been through quite a few, um, but I think I took it a lot easier. I don't want to say easier. When it was, when I lost my grandparents, it was different because they were older. If, if that makes sense. Like, it, I was still tremendously upset, but it was a different... Like I was upset, I was I was upset because I wanted them still here, you know what I mean? And I was upset that they were gone um, and stuff like that. But I also feel like um, as far as like my dad and my brother, it, it, it was a different way of passing, but I'll be back. I'm going to uh, get my order. All right guys, I am pulling out of, oh my gosh, pulling out of Walmart right now. They had two guys come out because I had a pretty big order again, but Every time I do a pickup. I always know That I'm gonna have to put in an order at Target and Target just notified me that my uh They notified me when I pulled in here at uh, Walmart that um, but they notified me that my Target order is ready for pickup. So I'm gonna head there next well, Anyway, so Walmart No, oh honey come Oh, honey, I'm stopping back here. This car literally went to go around the tractor trailer. Don't you know? It's a red light. It's a red light. Oh my God, this guy's gonna cause an accident. He's like going out in the middle of the tra traffic. Are you kidding me? Uh -uh. Don't go, cause you're... Uh, this guy's giving me anxiety driving. I don't want to be behind him. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I had to put in a Target order because I had like eight substitutions, which it's a Monday. So I figured I would um, have substitutions, which is fine. But I didn't, I put my order in, like I said, so, and I, I overslept. If I'm being real, I overslept this morning and uh, I got up and it was too late for me to cancel any substitutions. So I was like, crap, um, but it's fine. It's, it's only 10 o'clock and it's 85 degrees here already. It is, it's gonna be really hot today, tomorrow and Wednesday. I'm not looking forward to that. I do not like the summer heat. I'm good at like 80 degrees with no humidity. <laughs> oh God, I might have to get out and make sure that uh, Nothing falls out when I open my back of my truck. Oh, it doesn't look like anybody else is here for a target pickup. Whoop, whoop. 
also have another cooking video I want to do coming up of a taco salad that my mom always makes. Um, so I'll do that. So that was <laughs> my tar I, my target lady came out and I opened the trunk and I hate when I have other groceries in the back because I'm always sorry I'm having an itchy nose. Um, yeah so stuff fell out and I'm like did anything fall out and she's like yeah don't worry I'll get it I'm like oh my god thank you um you like that brutes that looks uh that looks gorgeous right I um so a pair of my sunglasses fell behind the microwave and you know how I have it back in that corner now well I decided to climb up on a little step stool and reach behind there well my body started pushing the microwave and my arm got pinned back there underneath underneath the uh, cabinet and between the microwave. Just like all over the place. I have, if you're new here and you don't know by now and you haven't watched my videos, I'm very scatterbrained. I have, I, I have like legitly diagnosed ADHD among other things. Um, so I'm like, I hop around a little bit or a lot of it. I'm all over the place. But either way, I had to contact my sister-in-law because you guys know I, I did a, a haul with Rella and Bella Designs. Um, and she is supposed to be dropping off by shirts. I have like, I think I have five shirts coming. I, I, I hosted a party with her and because I hosted, I, I earned rewards. And the, you get like, you know, for however many whatever sold you get like free shirts and whatever well she now offers sublimation tumblers i am so excited guys she I, i've already been searching high and low for sublimation designs that i want on tumblers for uh christmas like christmas tumblers um for my coffee so i'm gonna have hopefully some cute tumblers coming soon um but yeah okay guys so i'm gonna try and fly through this carrie's gonna be home from work and i have to run him to pick up Something, I don't know, somewhere. Um, so, pound of American cheese. Uh, how much is this? This was substitution. I think I got 16 ounces. They substituted it for the 22. Either way, it'll get eaten. Two pack of cream cheese, seltzer sweet bologna, sour cream. Um, I got a 12 pack of the English muffins, some stew meat, chicken breast, 36 count of eggs, watermelon, or Breezy likes to call it cocoa melon. Two packs of yogurt tubes for the kids, grapes, two heads of iceberg lettuce. One of those is for the up, an upcoming recipe. Gala apples, some oranges, russet potatoes, two one pound packs of strawberries. It says substitution. These were substitute. They didn't have the two pound pack. Two pounds of baby carrots, some tomatoes. All right, guys. So I'm sweating. Sorry, it's hot in my house. And for those of you that don't know, but <laughs> trying to get stuff set up to do a grocery haul with two little ones is insane. Um, some of the stuff that you're gonna see in this part, some of it's like stock up stuff that I just wanted to have on hand. Chicken nuggets, just the uh, Great Value brand. I think this is the two pound bag, yep. Grab some chicken breast, easy stuff to throw in the air fryer. Grabbed a huge five pound bag of Fast food fries. These are, you know, I like to make homemade fries, but these are what the kids actually like, you know, because they're like McDonald's fries. This was a substitute. I'm not really sure. I did not approve this. Um, <laughs> I got Keg in his, you know, hash brown patties. And when I clicked, like, you know, because on the Walmart app, you can like pick your substitutes now. Well, it didn't give me an option for a substitute. So they substituted this and I don't know what, I mean, we'll use them, but I don't know what I'm going to do with four pounds of freaking shredded hash browns. I'm getting sidetracked. Salsa for a recipe, beef stew packet to throw in with my beef stew. That Soft pretzels for the kids. Spanish rice sides. I prefer Goya. This is cheaper, whatever. I usually add black beans or whatever else in with this um but i just grabbed the nor to switch it up a little this week marshmallow fluff we have peanut butter but i grabbed an extra one onion what in the heck onion soup mix i can't think my brain's going blank um 
That's for, you know, when I do my steak in the crock pot, I have that. I have that as a video. Anyway, my creamer, two of the Stokes. No, it's not my teal bottle, but this was what they had. The not too sweet. It'll do. I'm not picky. Five cans of spaghetti. -o. Like I said, we're stocking up. A can of cream of mushroom for a recipe. Pizza squeeze. Listen, I do. I did a video a long time ago on an easy recipe with crescent rolls, that stuff right there, and some mozzarella sticks, and you throw it in the oven and bake it, and the kids love it for a quick lunch or whatever. So it's like a really cheap alternative to like pizza. So anyway. I told you I was stocking up. We got eight cans of tuna here just to have on hand. Okay, here is where I uh, effed up a little bit here. Um, so I ordered this, the sp creamy spinach dip from, um, why does it look like this can is funky? Like, look, it looks like somebody Mommy. swiped their chip in there, but it's still sealed. So I wanted the spinach dip. Walmart substituted it, but didn't give me an option. They ended up giving me creamy jalapeno dip. I've never had that before in my life. Carrie and Kegan will probably eat it with some tortilla chips or whatever. But I did, then I ended up going to Target and I got the spinach, creamy spinach, creamy spinach dip. Yes, sir. Okay. Two of the pasta roni Parmesan cheese pasta sides. Listen, guys, I'm going to be honest. When it's been a rough day, I will make this, and this is one of my guilty pleasures. Coconut melon and coconut melon over there. The cocoa melon's over there, yep. Back here, I have penne pasta. I have elbow noodles. I have two things of spaghetti, like I said, stocking up. Two things of the strawberry kiwi roaring waters. Two things of the tropical tide roaring waters. The girls were fresh out of their Capri Sun waters, so I grabbed them those. Carrie did go to Sam's Club the other day, and he did grab some of the Apple and Eve juices. The kids don't love them. I think Carrie buys them more for himself when he wants some apple juice. He likes to have a little squeeze box here and there. So there's that. Okay, this is going to be the last bit of this haul. Um, I do have a case of Deer Park water down in our foyer area. 22 count of Paw Patrol fruit snacks. They do have the Space Jam's fruit snacks at Walmart. Apparently, I did not know that, but I grabbed those. Aaliyah asked for Gushers. They didn't have any bigger packs or would have got those. Kegs, uh, pink. I, they're like in every hall. Uh, the pink drinks. Um, the girls like those once in a while, too. I still have my teas, so I didn't have to pick those up. There are two bags of the cheddar and sour cream, but the kids currently have the other one. Um, so I got the baked sour, uh, baked cheddar and sour cream, honey mustard and onion pretzel pieces. I like those. Okay, so I have a lot of bags of tortilla chips here. Uh, so I got two of the restaurant style corn tortilla chips for like the spinach dip. I like to dip actually like celery and carrots in the spinach dip. I think it tastes really good. Either way, so if you have not tried that, give it a whirl. Um, I also got the knockoff, you know, the generic brand of scoops. They're called bowls, but that's for my recipe to you. You'll see when I make the recipe. You'll see. Anyway, I got two, two packs of saltine crackers. I do have, I told you guys, I was stocking up a little bit. So I grabbed two 12 counts of the beef flavored ramen. The juice I already talked about, I didn't move. Oh, okay. So I grabbed six, a 60 count of just the Walmart brand freezer bags. I was almost out. Um, these are the hangers that I use for the girls' clothing. Um, they're just the Pillow Fort brand from Target. I grabbed two packs. They're like $2. It's like 2 bucks for 18 hangers. All right, so I grabbed a two count of the cake pans. This is for the recipe that I have coming up. Uh, I grabbed the, what is on my table? paint probably from the kids that I cannot get off or something. Either way, uh, this is usually the detangling spray that I use for Aaliyah. I like them to have their own spray. I mean, I use my leave-in conditioner, usually the Not Your Mother's brand on Aaliyah's hair because it does work better, but she likes to have her own spray that sits on the shelf in the bathroom. So I typically buy her this. Well, she didn't want this one this time. But Briani did, and we were all out of this kind, so I grabbed another one of these from Target because Walmart only had the apple scent, and they like 
the pink monster. Aaliyah actually picked this one out when I was looking at detanglers on my Walmart app last night. She wanted the purple bottle. I've never used the Aussie detangler before. It says it's free of parabens. Has some Nemo, if you don't know. Finding Nemo is m one of my favorite movies of all time. Like, I was 18 years old and had Nemo sheets on my bed at home. <laughs> Anyway, I still have the comforter for back then, too, my Nemo comforter. I love Nemo. It's one of my favorites, but, yep, there's Nemo and Dory. So, so there's that. Uh, actually, I want to share some other things that I had picked up at Target. So, for those of you that don't know, my middle child is five, and she should be starting kindergarten this year. I'm not going to go into it a whole lot. We're not really deciding what we're going to do yet. I do know she will not be attending our local school this year. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I want to purchase homeschooling materials through a company or if we're just going to hold her until the year after. But either way, I still work on stuff here at home. I've shared a haul before where I get like the workbooks for them. These books I thought are just, you know, good busy workbooks for her to uh, use for numbers and colors and stuff. I did grab that at Target in the dollar spot. I just like to have her sit and do these. Um, I'll let her do as many pages a day as she wants. She has the huge kindergarten workbooks from I don't know, Scholastic or whatever. Um, so I do have some stuff here that we do work on, but I, th I wanted to share this. If you don't know, I used to work in a local school district, a local inner city school district. So I love school type stuff. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I, bought, I actually bought them, the girls, um, posters to hang up in their room. Um at the beginning of this year, like alphabet. Actually, I'll show you guys. I can show it in another video, maybe like a vlog or something. But anyway, I grabbed this, um, three bucks. And it's one of the, like, it's like almost like a canvas, like nylon, I don't know, nylon canvas, something. Either way, it's a, a pocket chart. So it has the day, the date, the month, the year, the weather, and the season. Okay, so then for a dollar, they had this all the little pieces that you need 49 count of the pieces all the seasons whether i thought this would be fun um for like homeschooling type stuff if that's the route we choose to go which i'm kind of leaning towards that but i'm a little bit nervous i don't know why i worked i worked in like i said i worked in educate the education field for 11 years i'm not sure why i'm so nervous about homeschooling my own kid like i I couldn't do it or something. I don't know. But either way, I wanted to share this because this is like a current purchase from Target. There's other stuff there, um, name tags, different stuff. So if you're teachers or if you're homeschooling parents, go check out the Target Dollar Spot Bullseyes Playground. They always have cute um, and functional stuff. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the little bell notification down below. Jesus God. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the little bell notification down below to be notified every, every time. Every time I upload, you don't want to miss our videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.